for Friday Night Lights? I know I am. Today I'm going to be showing you how to look uniform in your uniform and I have newbies of Cameron Bergen and Maggie Dickey with me and we are so excited to show you how to get ready to look the best you can as a Raiderette. Okay, the first thing we're going to be talking about is how to wear your gauntlets. You have two gauntlets, a left and a right. This is your left side, this is your right side. You'll know which gauntlet goes on which side because this darker strip of fabric and sequin will be on the outside of your wrist and the skinnier part will be towards your wrist, the wider part will be towards your elbow. So this is Maggie's right side. And then there's a little Velcro here to help it ease, make it easier to put on. And there you go. When you put your gauntlet on, the Sequin side should be facing up and the darker side will be on the bottom. That whenever you put your hands on your hips, you see this little ridge, just like this little ridge. And now left side, open the Velcro. It's important to open the Velcro when you put your gauntlets on because you don't want them ripping or getting torn at all as you put them on. And there you go. That's how to wear your gauntlets. Next, we're going to be talking about how to put on your uniform. The first thing you put on is going to be this piece, your top, called a shell. You'll put it on first over your bloomers. You can see she has her bloomers on. You'll pull it down, make sure it's nice and smooth, and then you'll pull your skirt over it. It should be about the bottom of your rib cage. So once you pull on the skirt, you can pull under and make sure that everything is super straight. You shouldn't have a bunch of wrinkles in it. Turn around. And the zipper should also not be bulging, it should be nice and tucked in. Here you go. Your skirt should be around your hand. You don't want it to be too low or too high. You want everything to be covered, but you also want to have enough leg to show for when you kick. Okay, next is how to tie your belt. So as you can see, her skirt is about there, just below her ribs and above her stomach. You put the belt right over this seam. You want to hide it because this should look like a dress and not a skirt and a shirt. You take your belt, you want the smooth side to be facing outwards, and you loop it through the front on both sides. Sometimes it twists, you have to fix it as you go and just make sure that the strings look nice. You don't want them to turn, you want them to stay the exact same way. And tighten it as you go. When you end, the smooth side should be facing out on the top. It'll be about an inch apart from these two pieces, and you want all these to be even. You don't want it to shift open here or open at the bottom. It should be a nice straight parallel line. Then I like to tie my belt to the side. That way when you make your loop, it's easier to tuck. So I do a half um, bow, and then it tucks in nice and smooth into the side. And you can't tell where it's tied. And then sometimes since these belts are newer, you have a bit of um, flaking from the inner side. So just make sure you brush it off so your uniform looks as nice as possible. Next, I'm going to show you how to wear your boots. So you can tell which boot is which by which side has this little medallion on the outside. So this is the left and this is the right. You can also label your boots by putting something inside of them or just writing on the actual fabric. For our winter games, we wear socks, like fuzzy socks, but for the summer games, it's hot, so you might not want to do that. So just pull your tights down, cover your heel. And then put your toes in. Go! And that's 
that's how your tights are worn. So you should have a little hole on the bottom like that. And that's so that you can put your tights down over your toes or up. It depends on your preference. Just make sure that the skin can't be seen above it. And this is what the boot looks like on. And we'll do the other side just so you can see the final product. go. And that's how the boots are worn. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to wear your hat. So with the hats, you can tell which side is the back because the label will be there. So you put the label towards the back. And if you also need to see what size you are, you can generally flip the label up and see. So this hat is 22. You'll want this little string to be on the back side of your hat hidden underneath the sequin band. That way it's not visible for the front and it most likely will not shift. When we tie our hat, we tie the conch over the left ear. I'm going to put this hat on camera. Here we go. You want it to be pretty even when you first tie it. And you're going to tighten it over the left ear. And you're going to do a box knot. So whichever side you tie first, you tie the opposite side for next. Go. And then you have a little knot. And you just tuck it in to your uniform, like that, perfect. And then if you want, you can pull your hair for pictures so that way it doesn't show, yes. Okay, and then another thing that's important to know about when you are wearing your field uniform is that we always tie up our hair. So any hair that goes behind the ears, generally you all pull up and then you can tie it. It can be either done with ponytail holder or bobby pins, but it must go under the hat. You don't want your hair tied to show underneath. And that way you don't have any hairs flying down as you're dancing. And you just have this nice little chunk of hair that can be curled or straight. It looks like that. It's also important to know that in the bright uniform, there is no PA allowed. No eating or drinking anything except for water, and you must always be smiling. You're a representation of Ellie Bell and the Raiderettes, so it's important to always look your best and be professional. Okay, so you're going to start off by putting primer on your face, just so that your makeup doesn't seep into your pores too much. I've already put mine on. Next, I like to use a tinted moisturizer just to keep my skin nice and fresh because it gets dried out, especially in the winter time. But this is completely optional. I just think it gives a better coverage to my face. I apply this with my fingers um, because I think it gives a very natural finish. Okay, next, this is my foundation. You wanna choose something that's pretty pigmented because when you're moving a lot under those Friday night lights, it can tend to come off. And I like to use a foundation brush to apply it. And I put this all over, that way my skin has a nice even tone. And you have to be careful when you're using a brush because sometimes it can get like streaky. And I like to go through with my fingers and just make sure that everything is nice and even. Okay. Next, I like to do some concealer. And I use a concealer that's slightly lighter than my actual skin tone. That way it helps brighten. I put a little bit under my eyes, a little bit on my cheekbone, 
and then I cover any red spots that I may have from acne or just red from the heat. I apply a bit to my lips to lighten it. And you don't want to apply too heavy a layer because you can get very hot in your uniform and sweat it off and you don't want to create crazy yoni. I like to use a beauty blender for this. Next, I like to use um, some powder just to make sure that everything stays matte when I sweat and to also even out any strange colors from concealer and foundation. I put a lot on my cheeks because that's where I tend to sweat, the T-zone, and my forehead because when we wear a hat or a headband, it smudges. And I do my eyes so they don't get oily when I put on my um, eyeshadow. And a bit down my neck, just even up so I don't that much. And I like to use this giant brush for any bronzer I use. And when I apply bronzer, I apply it down on my cheek. And just to give a little bit of shadow. I don't do very intense bronzer um, just because I don't want to look crazy, but just a little bit. Now you look um, like you have some shape to this place. Okay, and then next I like to apply some blush. For Friday night, I like to go for something darker and more of a shimmer so I pick this shade and I make sure to apply plenty um, because you want to have lots of blush for Friday nights so I apply it where I smile there just to start and then I add a bunch more spread it out I apply it down my cheekbone And same on the other side. And you want to try to match the amount of blush you put on each cheek. That way you don't look uneven. This blush may look crazy without the rest of the makeup on, but when you're in a full uniform and hat, it looks so much better. And I apply a tiny bit to the bridge of my nose. And then some to my forehead just to give it a more natural finish. And the shimmer looks very pretty under Friday Night Lights. Sparkly. Okay, and then I apply um, some highlighter. I use this shade, it's kind of a pearly white. I think it looks very nice uniform. So I use a brush for my cheeks and I apply it along the cheekbones, inside my face. And then for my nose, I use my finger and I apply a dot along the tip and down the bridge of my nose. And then I apply it on my eyebrows and above my lip. Okay, next I like to do my eyebrows because after applying a lot of foundation, they can kind of get out of shape. So I brush upwards and then I brush the on the top just to give it a nice natural shape that I think looks very pretty under a hat. And then I use a little eyebrow pencil and I fill in the end, especially because on me those tend to be more sparse. You don't want to have blocky eyebrows, but you don't want your eyebrows to be washed out under the light. So then I apply a tiny bit to the front. And then I even it out to make it look a bit more natural by using my brush. I brush upwards, same thing as I did to shape the eyebrows, just to really mix that um, pencil in with the eyebrows. 
And if there's any places that still look sparse that I don't need to put a pencil in, then I usually use my eyebrow powder, which I don't have with me, but that's what I use for like places like this where it's a bit lighter. Okay, and then I'm going to do my eyes. Um, so the team is required to wear mascara and eyeliner. Same thing with blush. So I use this great lash. It's just a classic black. Um, and I can place my eyes. Look nice. If you have lashes on, then obviously you don't need to use nearly as much mascara, but you'll still want to use some. I do the top, up to the outer corner, and the bottom lashes. And I get some more mascara and do the other side. It's also optional, but you can use an eyelash curler if you want to give your lashes some more dimension and especially if you have very straight lashes like I do it helps make your eyes pop and look bigger and for the bottom lashes okay and then next I'm going to do my eyeshadow for the team color, we wear dark brown, so I use this shade and a bit of this, and then this for some highlight. I like to use this brush. Just for some dark brown tones, I use it on the outer corner and I blend it into my skin. And I do the same. I usually do one shade at a time and then make sure that they look even. That way the final product looks more even than if I did one eye and then the other. And then I use this medium shade here and I apply it more towards the center and the inner corner. Same thing on the left. And then I use this shade for the inner corner. For the left side and then I take a smaller eyeshadow brush and I apply the lightest shade I have in my palette and I apply it just above my lash line to highlight my eyes and make them pop and then I also apply some on the inner corner eyeshadow look I like to do it gives your eyes a lot of dimension especially under the hat because the shadow from the hat makes your face look so much more dull so adding some shimmery eyeshadow helps a lot now the team is also required to wear eyeliner so this is the one that I use it has a nice little tip so when you draw it has an even line you can use liquid but I'm just not as good at that so. and you don't have to do a huge dramatic one, this is about how long mine is, and then I fill it in from the bottom. And then I also like to draw a line over my eyelashes. Nice and even, I do get some in the waterline, so it doesn't look as um, like disconnected from my eyelashes. And normally I would, after this step, I would curl my eyelashes. So there's one eye, and then the other. I do my best to make them even, which is why I do a shorter lines, but if I need to make them longer to them out, I can. And this eyelid on me tends to shake a bit, so I usually hold it. I do my eyeliner in very small strokes to try to make it as even as possible so that I can always fill it in later. There you go. And if there's any mistakes, I tend to clean it up with a Q-tip. 
that's how I do my eyes. And then yes, my eyelids are super long. My eyelashes are too to find right now because I haven't curled them. Um, but you can also use a more volumizing mascara if you want that look. And then I go in with our lipstick. Um, this isn't the exact red shade because that hasn't been determined yet, but we're going for more of a ruby red. So I use this shade and I apply plenty because when you smile, um, more lipstick tends to come off, so I start with a lot, and then I reapply throughout the night as needed. And I do a little like X shape on my lips to start to make sure that I have a nice cupid bow defined. And then I clean it up with my finger. And then I give my look a final once over and if I see there's any part that's lacking, then I'll add it. So for example, I think I need a bit more shimmer to my eyelids. So I'm going to take a bunch of highlighter and just apply it vigorously. Same with the other side. And then that step tends to lighten my eyelids. So I'll come in back with more of this, um, this shade of shimmer. Give it still that dark brown color. To the outside. And there you go. You always want to check your teeth for lipstick. I know not always have lipstick on them, so um, what I do is I put a finger in and then I get most of it off. That tends to go on my teeth. And that's the red makeup look. And then the final step that I like to do is I spray some um, setting spray because I can sweat a lot of makeup. And I also think you just baptize it. So here's the spray. Let it dry. You should also never spray anything in uniform. So that's why I'm wearing a bathrobe right now to cover up if I were wearing a uniform. Um, make sure you never spray in uniform. And and then I finish my makeup look off with some earrings and I let my hair down and I put my hat on. And you can see that um, this makeup really makes sure that my face doesn't get too shadowed by my hat. And that's it. This one looks like a <laughs> I'm telling you. I never could cut this part out, God. <laughs> I would just put in like me putting a stash of not me rubbing my face vigorously. <laughs> <laughs> if this was in the video, I'd be very embarrassed. We'll let you know, don't worry. Yeah, I like sent out the video and he like left in all the clips and there's like <laughs> me saying this. You will die. I know. <laughs> Please put some music in the background. Do like spa music on. Yeah, to match the robe. Yes, girl. Okay. Thanks, Michael. Because I never see you with so much makeup on. It's because I, I hate wearing makeup.
Because competition did this to me. From putting on this much makeup, like, every weekend, I was like, no, I hate wearing makeup now. I used to wear, like, makeup to school. Like, I see an eyeliner girl in junior high. Yeah, no, that's not an eyeliner girl. I see you sitting there like, I see like eyeliner, like I used to wear like bright red lipstick and full eyeliner, and I would do crazy things. I used to like buy me this like pale mascara for mm-hmm. like, 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 yeah. like, yeah. mascara. Yeah. I had to do my eyebrows though because girl okay. heights are crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do more makeup. Okay, next.